Have you been thinking about selling digital products online? If the answer is yes, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. I'm gonna reveal the truth about selling digital products in 2021 and beyond. So a lot of people, myself included, love selling digital products online, right? It's kind of like the holy grail. You can sell it while you sleep, it doesn't cost you anything to sell it over and over again, right? When someone buys it, there's no cost of goods sold, like a physical product, and it gets delivered instantly. It could be delivered instantly to someone on the other side of the planet, and as soon as they check out, they get access to their product immediately. That being said, not everyone should be jumping straight into creating and selling digital products. And there's a few requirements I believe you should have and a few things you should have in place before thinking about starting a digital product business. Now, that's what I wanna talk about in this video. I'm gonna take you into my computer and go over training with you. I'm gonna show you the requirements that I believe you should have in order to have a successful and profitable digital product business, and also five steps that you can take to build a six, multiple six, even seven figure digital product business in 2021 and beyond. So, let's jump into my computer right now. All right, so I'm gonna go over the five steps to build a 20K per month digital product business in 2021 and beyond. And these five steps are the exact steps that we took to go from zero to 300K with the digital product business in 2020. And you can see here, uh, we started this in February, 2020. In two months, we crossed 25K per month. And by the end of the year, you can see here, December 2nd, uh, we had passed 300K in sales. And this is for an info digi digital product business and a coaching business. So um, what we're gonna cover, I'm gonna talk about something first, the zero to six to seven figure progression. And this goes back to what I believe you need in order to build a successful and profitable digital product business. And then we'll talk about those five steps, the exact steps to build a 20K per month plus digital product business. Um, so the zero to six to seven figure progression. What does this mean? Uh, well, there's different phases of going from zero to six to seven figures. And this is the way that I look at it, right? This is, again, my opinion. Uh, this is the path that I took, and this is the way that I look at business and growing a business. So stage one, you're focused on skill, right? And this is the zero to 100K per year mark. So what you're saying here is, I'll do it for you. And that's where you're building up your skills and you're doing services and you're and spending your one-on-one -on -one time uh, working on other people's businesses, right? So this could be, uh, the goal is to develop and hone your skills. And this could be models such as services, freelancing, agency, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, or you might be employed at a company and running like their marketing for them, their, their email list for them, their copywriting, right? So the result of this stage one, and it's, it's, it's necessary, right? It's a requirement that you go through this is you're getting experience in case studies, you're developing money-making skills, you're increasing your confidence, and you're finding what you're good at, your superpower, right? So stage one, everybody should start here, right? And this is a lot of people try to skip this and jump straight into just selling digital products. And I think that's a mistake, right? So I think that you need to build up the skills first to have and sell or create and sell really effective and really uh, good digital products. From there, we go into stage two. And this is where we start to productize. And this is the 100K to 500K per year mark. And what you're saying here is, uh, we'll do it together. So the goal here is you're systematizing and leveraging your expertise and the model here is you might have a productized service, a group coaching or consulting program, and you might be starting to sell digital products. And I'll show you uh, what my journey looked like going through these stages here. And the result of this is you start to build your audience, you start to build systems and processes, you start to hire help, you're focusing more on your superpower and what you're good at and what you wanna focus on long-term, and you're starting to move away from the one-on-one -on -one, uh, model and more towards a leveraged one-to-many model. Okay, so you're starting that transition, you're starting to productize yourself. And then stage three is we go, we go full into product. And this is the 500K to million year plus uh, mark. And what you're saying here is I'll, sh I'll show you how to do it yourself, right? Or I'll help you do it yourself. And the goal is to fully productize yourself and separate your time from your income. So the model here are online courses, heavy into digital products, group coaching and consulting, high ticket masterminds, right? So you're, uh, you're more focused on digital products, automated products on the front end, and then you could have those higher ticket group coaching, consulting, and masterminds in the back end. The result of this is scale to seven figures plus by becoming the leader in your market, working only with your dream clients, building automated digital products, and building a highly leveraged, profitable, and impactful business focused on helping people at scale, right? One to many. 
So uh, I went through this, this model as well, or these, these stages, this progression. And the big mistake people try to make is they try to jump the line straight into creating automated digital products, right? They try to skip stage one and stage two and just go straight into creating products, which, you know, on rare occasions it can work, uh, but you still need the skills. You still need to know how to do something that people want to pay for. So uh, don't skip the line, right? If you're just getting into online business, don't jump straight into digital products. It is hard to do that because you don't have the expertise and the skill and the reputation built up yet. So you have to know what you're talking about. Otherwise, you're gonna come off like those slimy, coarse slinging cowboys who are just trying to make a quick buck. And you don't wanna be one of those people, okay? So here is what my progression looked like. 2015 to 2017, uh, that's when I first, I was still working in a corporate job and that's when I was first getting into online entrepreneurship. So uh, I started an e-commerce store and also I was doing marketing agency services uh, for local businesses. So the result of this is I started building my skills in SEO and web design and sales funnels and copywriting, email marketing, paid traffic. And I actually built this e-commerce store. This is what allowed me to quit my job in 2016. I built this e-commerce store uh, to multi-millions in sales in this 2015 to 2017 period. So it allowed me, I was working kind of on my own business, uh, on my own store and, and honing my skills and getting better at things. And I sold this store in 2018 and went 100% into my agency, which was Growth Response. So at the end of 2017, we started going full into Growth Response, which is the agency. And from 2017 to 2020, we started going through this productized phase or this productized stage, right? So we started to productize our service meaning we were doing SEO and web design, sales funnels, copywriting, and we started to just focus on a certain service. And so I asked myself, uh, what service can I productize and systematize? And that was LinkedIn lead generation and uh, cold email lead generation. So we would work with companies mainly in the tech space and we would manage their LinkedIn and uh, outbound cold email and generate them sales appointments for their sales team so they, they could close these deals. So that became our productized service. We had one core service and we had a slight upgrade from that where they could add on cold email, but we had one productized service where pretty much every client got that same core service. And I also started doing around 2020, in the beginning of 2020, I started doing group coaching and consulting, teaching people our lead gen strategies, teaching people our sales strategies and our copywriting strategies in a group coaching and consulting environment. So the result of this was I built my audience. I, I started building systems and I hired virtual assistants for my team to help me with these uh, managing these systems and these clients. I got more client case studies. I honed in on my superpower, which was writing and copywriting. And I moved away from one-on-one -on -one and started moving uh, more towards group coaching and consulting and creating digital products, right? So more towards a one-to-many model. And now we're focused in 2021 and beyond on this product stage. So online courses, digital products, group coaching, high ticket mastermind. What we're focusing on here, and this is where we're at now, is growing my audience. We're doubling down on content. We're trying to become a category king in the digital product space. And we're building products that sell while, uh, sell while I sleep and implement more systems, automations, and only working and, con and coaching perfect fit clients. So this is my journey. This is my progression, right? I went through this as well. It started in 2015. It took me, you know, five and a half years to get to this product stage here. And some people will move a lot quicker. Some people will move slower. Um, everybody has their own journey, but this is the way that I look at the stages. And this is where I believe stage two and stage three is when you should be creating digital products, right? You need that skill and that experience built up first. So this is the current offer stack at Productized Profits, which is my education company. And we have different offers, right? So I have an ebook called The Info Product Empire, and that's $5.70, and that's designed to generate customers at scale, right? So I can run paid advertising to this ebook. I can sell this ebook for $5.70, which is a low ticket product. Uh, the customers come in, they, they read the book, they like the book, and then they slowly go up this, this pyramid here of different offers. So we have a low ticket offer, we have a mid ticket offer, and we have a couple high ticket offers here. So let's say someone comes in, they buy this ebook, right? And they want more help and more support in a video format, in a course format, then they can get this course that we have here, right? And if they want even more support in a coaching environment, they can get our coaching program. And you can see the different price ranges over here if you wanna set this up for yourself. And on the high end, we have a done for you service for businesses that are doing a certain amount in revenue every year where it makes sense. 
And we're also rolling out a high ticket mastermind later this year. So this is the way that our offer stack at productized profits looks. And these are our digital products here, right? These can be delivered uh, to anybody on you know, the other side of the planet. And I can sell them my ebook, my course, my coaching program, our service or our mastermind and deliver it from where I live in Seattle, no matter where they are. Okay, so this is what the offer stack at productized profits looks like. So let's talk about now the five steps. If you wanna build a six figure, multiple six figure, or seven figure digital product business, what are the five steps that you should take to do that? Let's go over that. So step one is to pick a niche or niche. I don't really know what the right way to say it is, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. So pick a niche or a group of people that you want to help. And this should be a niche where you have prior experience, results, or at the very least, you should be interested in working with them long term. And this is why it's so important that you go through that zero to six to seven figure progression because uh, you're building up your experience and you're building up your skills and you're going to use that to pick the group of people that you want to work with and want to help. Okay. So example, uh, creators, experts, and entrepreneurs. Those are the main groups of people that I work with. And this is anyone who has specialized knowledge, expertise, or skills to share. I help them productize and package it up and sell digital products. So that is an example of picking your niche. You want to pick, and it doesn't have to be super specific. As you can see, these are kind of broad, right? Creators, experts, entrepreneurs, specialized knowledge, expertise, or skills to share. They, they should just have shared attributes or values or characteristics. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is to productize your expertise. So what you're doing here is identify a problem that you want to solve for your niche and find products that they're first already buying to solve it, right? So you're doing comp competition research. You're looking at what products are they already buying, products or services to solve the problem that you've identified here. It could be books, could be courses, could be coaching programs, could be mastermind events. And you want to make a list of these things so that you know what's already selling. And then what you're going to do is create a product that solves that problem problem based on your competition research, based on your experience and expertise and skills, you're going to create that product. And how you do that is you deconstruct what you do and create a product around your expertise that can solve that problem that you've identified. So I like to start with low ticket products. You saw that ebook. I'll show you some examples uh, in a slide from now, but I use that to get a higher volume of customers so that I can get a feel for the market. I can get feedback from the market and learn about the other problems and things that they're struggling with. So I like to start with low ticket products. A lot of people like to go straight for the high ticket. That's totally fine too. I'm not saying it's wrong. This is just the way that I do it. So example, problem. My niche of the creators, experts, entrepreneurs, they struggle to separate their time from their income, leading to burnout and inability to scale. They're capped out on their income because of their, uh, their time. They're capping out on their time. So the product that solves that problem is my info product empire book. And it's the blueprint on how to productize yourself get your time back, right? Go one to many and turn your expertise into a six to seven figure business to get paid for what you already know. So here are some of my products here. So I created these two, this six figure drop servicing and seven day super fast sales email challenge, the low ticket products back in 2020. We've sold many thousands of units of these two here and info product empire. I just launched this mid January. So not too long ago. And this is what we're using as the front end offer, front end product to grow productized profits in 2021 and beyond this book here. So step three is to build your audience. And this is super important in 2021 and beyond. This is probably the most important step here is building your audience, right? There's so many people online now. There's so many people publishing content and you need to give people a reason to follow and listen to you. And of course, to buy your stuff. And the way that you do that is by building your audience and providing value to them every day or as consistently as possible, right? So how do you build your audience? Well, you perform what I call the daily organic empire builders and what there's three of them here. So the first one is to grow your audience. And this is especially important if you don't have an audience yet and you let's say you have like 100 friends on Facebook, you need to start adding people to your friends list and social media platforms have made this so easy, right? LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, you can go out and find people that you're trying to target and just start adding them to your network. So add 20 to 50 people per day on these social media platforms to your audience because then you have people to talk to and share value with and engage with. So that's number one, grow your audience. And these are daily actions, right? Daily organic empire builders. Number two is to publish content. Publish useful content that builds your reputation and shows your capabilities, shows what you're good at. 
Another way to do this, and another thing that I'm focused more on this year is to get interviewed on podcasts to spread awareness. Now, the great thing about podcasts is when you go on someone else's podcast and you are speaking to their audience, right? You're getting interviewed and you're speaking to their audience. A portion of their audience is really gonna resonate with what you're saying if you're providing value and they're gonna start following you, right? So you're borrowing someone else's audience and you're getting them to listen to you. And that trust carries over if you're actually sharing value. So that's number two is to publish content consistently that builds your reputation, shows your capabilities. And number three is to start conversations. Have real human conversations with people who engage with your content and join your audience, right? So when people are liking or sharing or sending you messages, engage with them, start conversations, right? Be a real human. I know that automation is a sexy thing. I like automation too, but starting conversations, especially when you are just getting rolling with digital products is very important for gathering feedback, finding out the real problems of your market and making sure that you're getting the messaging and your actual products right, right? That, that it's addressing the right problem. Um, so if you want people to pay you, then give them a reason to, right? Be someone worth following. And how do you do that? Well, share valuable and useful content, right? Build and document in public, right? So people think that they only have to share their highlights. Not true. As you're building businesses, and especially uh, on Twitter, if you go to Twitter and watch these tech founders and these startup founders, they like to build their businesses in public, which I think is amazing. So they will say, I'm, I'm going from zero to this amount. Watch me do it in public. And they just share what they're working on. So build and document your business on public. Document your journey. Always be learning. Always be learning new things. Read books. Take courses. Watch videos. Learn new things. Follow interesting people. And that's, that's going to give you ideas and keep your brain running. Always be implementing. So don't just learn things, but go out and actually take action so that you have something to document in public and share with the public. You're not just taking people's ideas and regurgitating it. You're actually putting it to use, getting experience and feedback and sharing your results with the market. And of course, share the results, right? When you do get results from implementing, share that, whether it's your own results or your clients or your customers results, share it all to your, your audience here as you start to build them. Now, um, you might be saying, but Sean, what if I don't have anything interesting to share, right? I don't have anything interesting. I'm boring. Well, then start doing more interesting-ish, right? I don't, I don't want to get demonetized, but start doing more interesting things. And it doesn't have to be around business, right? You could be traveling. You could be doing cool things, right? Like, I don't know if you do extreme sports or anything like that. That's interesting to me when I watch people do that. It doesn't have to be just around business. It could be a hobby or a new skill that you're learning. Um, so let's talk about a few simple ways to document and share your work, right? Is there a, are you learning a new skill? Are you working on a new project? Do you have a funny or cool or interesting story to share? Are you traveling or experiencing new things? You can share that too. Do you have a personal result uh, or one for, one for a client or a customer, right? Can you share that? Share it all. It doesn't have to be a highlight where people think that they only have to share their highlights or when they're at the top of the mountain. Uh, share your journey. People love to see and hear about that as you're going and you're growing and you're learning new things. Share it all. Okay? And I'm, I'm putting an extra emphasis. This is something that I wish I did from the beginning of my journey is to share as I started to grow and take each step. So step four, after building your audience, it's time to start selling. All right? So what do we do here? If you did step three, after you build your audience, it's as simple as whipping up a quick landing page and creating a series of posts and emails that just give your audience an opportunity to buy. So your content, when you're creating content for your posts, your social posts and emails, it's going to point out the problem and then it's going to position your product as the solution to that problem. And if you want examples of this, just take a look at my Facebook group, my YouTube channel, my emails. I'm posting pretty much every day, week, month, and you can see me doing this, right? I talk a lot about the problems of my market and then I give people an opportunity to buy uh, one of my products that is positioned as a solution for whatever problem that I'm talking about in whatever piece of content it is. So if you want examples, just take a look at my Facebook group, my YouTube channel, emails. I'm always posting content and I'm giving people an opportunity to buy my different products. Now, if you didn't do step three, uh, it will be tough. So go back and actually do that, right? Start building your audience. It's gonna be a lot tougher to sell if you don't have that audience and that trust built up. You're going to have to resort to things if you don't have that audience to things like paid advertising on unproven offers. You might be just burning cash trying to figure out the messaging and the right offer itself, like the pricing and everything. Um, you don't want to do that. 
cold outreach. Nothing wrong with cold outreach, but you're you're getting rejected every day and you're and you're reaching out to people that don't want to hear from you, right? They they don't know you. You're a stranger to them. And also hard selling. You just you have to get on these 45 minute, 60 minute strategy sessions with people and just try to take them through this long sales script and try to close them when they don't even know who you are, or know your name. Um, that's that's fine in the beginning like if you're selling just high ticket services, you can go out and do this and build a 10k per month plus business just focusing on cold outreach and hard selling here. But if we're selling digital products and we want this to be long-term and sustainable and not burn out, the best way to do that is to go back to step three, build your audience first and start selling once you have even just a small audience built up, okay? So step five is to optimize and scale. And so after you start getting sales in, it's time to optimize and scale your business to that 10, 20K per month mark plus. How do we do that? Well, we first install a sales funnel. So a sales funnel, what's included, well, we have upsells, we have automated email sequences, and we also use testimonials from that initial group of customers to help us increase conversions on our sales page. Now, notice I didn't talk about sales funnels too much in steps one, in steps one through four is because we wanna keep things simple and we wanna make sure that people are actually going to buy our, our product before setting up all these complicated upsells and sequences and these multi-step pages and funnels here. So we do this once we're optimizing and we're starting to scale. And we've proved that people are gonna buy our products. You're also gonna optimize your messaging and offer. So use feedback from your initial customers and you should be asking for feedback. Hey, how is this going? How are you liking it? Is there anything that you wish was in it? Uh, and you're getting it, this feedback from initial customers to make your message, your offer, and your product even stronger. Uh, so I'm in this phase now. I just launched my Info Product Empire book two and a half weeks ago. And now we're taking the feedback from initial customers and we're making all these things stronger. We're building out our sales funnel and we're making the product even better. And from there, we're going to scale with systems, content, and paid advertising. So we're using systems, a lean team, we're using content and paid social media advertising campaigns to accelerate growth in customer acquisition, right? Getting more customers into the business and then installing these backend offers as well to maximize what they're spending with our business. So let's go back to the original promise of this training, right? It was how to get to 20K per month with a digital product business. We walked through the five steps. Now I wanna package it up and show you exactly uh, how to figure out how to get to 20K per month based on your business. So I'm gonna use mine, uh, my funnel, my business as a case study here and use that to show you how you can break this down for yours. So this is our funnel here. And you can see in this example, each customer in this funnel is worth $51.74. And this is not including our coaching program or our service. So this number is actually a lot higher than $51.74. And all you're gonna do here is whatever your monthly revenue or monthly profit goal is, you're gonna take that and plug that in here. So in this case, it's 20K. You're gonna divide that by the average customer value. In this case, it's $51.74. I'm keeping things simple. I'm keeping out the advertising expenses and the, and the coaching program and the service. Uh, so you'll wanna calculate all that in here. But you just divide the monthly goal that you have divided by the average customer value minus any expenses. And that's gonna give you how many customers you need per month and per day to hit that goal. So in this case, we need 387 customers per month or 13 customers per day. Now, if you're following steps one through five, right? If you're um, productizing your expertise, you're building your audience and you're, you're posting valuable content and then you start to run paid advertising behind that as well, it is not that difficult to hit 13 customers or 13 sales a day. Okay, if you actually know what you're talking about, and you are an expert, you have specialized knowledge in a certain area, you can help somebody. It's not that hard to package that up and get 13 customers a day. Okay, so that's how you do this. You plug in this number here, whatever your goal is, divided by the average customer value, and that's gonna give you how many customers you need based on those numbers per day to hit your goal. So uh, now, once you have those numbers dialed in, you're not gonna have it perfect if you're just starting out, but now once you have those numbers, it's a matter of creating more products, growing your audience, building a lean team, and then scaling with paid ads until you hit your goal. So the five steps again to 20K per month. Step one, pick a niche. Pick a group of people that you wanna work with. Step two, productize your expertise, right? So identify that problem and then deconstruct what you do and turn it into a product that can solve that problem for your identified niche. Step three is to start building your audience and providing value to them. Very important in today's, in today's world. Step four is to start selling, get those initial customers rolling in. And once you do step five, 
optimize and scale your funnel and your business. So we went through the five steps to get the uh, 20K per month plus, and there's a lot of details in the middle of these steps, right? So these are like the high level steps, but there's details in each of these that you have to get right if you wanna build as quickly and as profitably as possible. So let me ask you, would you like my personal help in getting there? Getting to that 10K to 20K per month mark plus in a digital product business. If you want my help, here's what I can help with. Building your digital product business from scratch, creating products that actually sell, creating an automated funnel to sell while you sleep, launching a traffic engine that generates customers every day, converting customers into repeat customers and clients, and delivering epic results for your customers and clients, of course, super important, and then scaling using systems, a lean team, content, and paid ads. Would you like my help with that? So what I'm really helping you do is go from the stage one. If you have the specialized skill set, knowledge, expertise built up, I believe you should be making six, multiple six, even seven figures per year. Uh, people get paid for providing no value at all. So why shouldn't you get paid if you actually can help someone get an awesome result in their life for their business? And what I want to help you do is go from this, this skill stage where you're trading your time for money into the product stage where you're fully productized, you've separated your time from your income, and you can help your customers and clients at scale and have a bigger impact without spending your one-on-one -on -one time burning yourself out and working directly with clients. I mean, you can do that still at a premium level, but it gives you the option to say no uh, and say yes only to the dream clients that you wanna work with. So my goal is to help you escape that trading time for money trap and help you build your own six to seven figure info product empire that gets amazing results for your customers and clients at scale. And you will be an absolute weapon. If you decide to work with me, I have a coaching and training program. Uh, you will be an absolute weapon in digital products, marketing, sales, audience building, and business growth after going through that coaching and training. So if that sounds like something that you want, if you wanna grow your business, uh, digital product business, or, or bolt this onto your existing business, then hit the link in the description, watch the short video and schedule a time to chat with me. We'll see if there's a fit, if I can actually help you based on where you're at. And if I can, I'll tell you more about what this program is that we have. So know this before you actually book a time, right? There is work to get this up and going. There is, this is not where you just, you just turn something on and it's, it's instantly working and automating everything for you, okay? There is work to get this up and going, like anything that's worth it in life. Only book time if you're dead serious about putting in that work and making this a success, right? So putting in the work, putting in the effort to actually get this going and launched and get this to be a success for you and your business. This is not for people who have zero experience or specialized skills or knowledge or expertise. If that's you, focus first on building up your skills. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is through service uh, for, for other businesses, right? People who are already set up, go and serve them and, and hone your skills and get better at something. And from there, you can start to move up that zero to six to seven figure progression. This is not for scared kitty cats, right? Who are afraid to push themselves, put themselves out there and learn new skills, right? There is gonna be a requirement where you go out and you, you start publishing content, you put yourself out there and you start building your audience, right? That's what we teach. And this is not some, can I just push buttons and make passive income forever business? Yes, you are going to get automated sales coming into your business once you uh, have everything optimized and ready for scale, but this doesn't just happen overnight, right? You can't just press a button and expect it to be passive income forever. So if that's what you're looking for, that's not what this is. Uh, this is real-ish, right? I can't swear, I don't wanna get demonetized where you actually help people get results and you're building a long-term business and I only wanna work with people and help people who are serious about making this work and serious about helping their customers and clients. So if that sounds like you, hit the link in the description, watch that short video, schedule a time to chat with me and we'll see if it's a fit. If it is, I'll tell you more about what we have to offer, how it can help you and uh, we'll take it from there. So that's it for this video, for this training. I will talk to you soon if you book a call. If not, I hope you found this valuable. I hope you got some insights out of this into uh, the truth about selling digital products and the steps that you need to build a successful six to seven figure digital product business. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought. Give me a like if you got value out of this and I'll see you in the next video.